Good morning on this beautiful sunny day. Um, I am in Club Street in Abraman and I can't wait to show you around this absolute beautiful two bedroom cottage that we've got. So it does need a little bit of renovation, but oh, I've always loved Club Street. It's really good parking. It's an easy access street. And I just think that this is a perfect first time buy an amazing rental property to be honest with you. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to show you around. So come and have a little look at me. So here we go. So Club Street, like I said, there is ample parking. It's really, really good, especially down this sort of side of the street. You have got a lovely building across the road that is only a couple of years old. And I believe it's housing for older generation or vulnerable people. So I've actually sold a couple of people's houses who have gone to live there. So, and they were lovely. <laughs> so as you can see, I have actually parked across the road like many other houses, many other cars. And there is parking in front Front of the property so you do come up the stairs walk across and we'll go in and have a little look so number 18 club street here we go so straight away i would sort of say that this house is very bright it i am very lucky that it's really nice weather today which is half the battle i know but honestly when you come in wait until you see the living room it is very very bright so of course like i said this house does need a bit of renovation so we are talking textured wallpapers plastered ceilings would need to happen um the flooring is quite nice and it does go through into the kitchen the kitchen then has a different sort of style parquet you have got lovely built-in storage as in plenty of space never really good at this there we go so plenty of storage space i know the stairs sometimes are a little bit hit and miss on this design um sometimes i think why did we ever think these were fashionable so it depends i've seen a lot of people put a piece of wood on the back and then they feel sick. lots of people don't like them because of children which i get but we especially me i would have been brought up in a generation with them sort of steps but yeah, put a piece of wood on the back. I've done it and seen it lots of times. And it's really, really good. It's just handy. It makes it safe and you've got peace of mind. So like I said, this is such a fabulously bright living room. It's such a good size. You've got a huge PVC window to the front. Lovely deep window sills. Again, showing its age. So like I said, cottage. It's fantastic electric fireplace so you can remove it you can do whatever you want with it with a marble um surround to the back and it's great the flooring is in really good condition now here you are again textured wallpaper and you are textured ceilings but you are coming in here thinking you do need to do a little bit of work anyway so I love this floor. This floor is so on trend and it really does make it quite modern. I adore the size of this kitchen. So touching on it, textured ceilings. You are once again, textured walls. So, hey, it's a weekend of getting that steamer out. <laughs> Plenty of space for your washing machine. You could upgrade the boiler. It is around 15 years old, but it's a Faroli, which is quite a good make. Plenty of space for your fridge freezer. I love this because you've got to space for your table and chairs as well. So then your living room becomes your living room solely. So in here is an integrated tumble dryer, which is lovely. Now, just looking. So, okay, we have got wooden windows to the back and it is the same in the bathroom. But if you have a look at the cupboards, they're in really really good condition now they are quite new they're around five years old so you know you're not automatically thinking i've got to come in here and have a new kitchen because you don't i actually really really like it it's so smart i've seen this kitchen um where they put a white worktop with it and you'd be surprised how much it makes it pop and how modern it makes it feel so as you can see you've got space for your uh what your fridge freezer there as well but you could put it here or have a table and chairs. Forgive my pink Crocs. <laughs> my drive-in shoes, I've forgotten to put my boots on. So in here, we've got a huge double shower. Now, as you can see, the paneling is all the rage. So the walls are fully paneled here, as well as the black here. So you can see that, that's all the rage, all the black. And I love the paneling. It's just so easy to clean. You've got an electric shower. That's a huge uh, double shower. I'm gonna just turn around for you. So off the kitchen, and then you've got a separate toilet. And it's got a little skylight. How 
cute is that? Just to throw a lot more light in. Um, matching flooring to the kitchen. I love that. I think it's really smart. Now, best thing I think about this garden uh, is the house. Sorry, I'm getting too carried away with myself. Is this garden. I love it. Club Street have always been so known for lovely gardens. And today, it's so beautiful. You've got gorgeous blue skies. You can hear people cutting the grass, which is lovely. Doesn't it feel like summer again? Just for one day. I'm going to go all the way up to the back of the garden and spin round for you. So look at this. What a fabulous size. As you can see, a number in the street have done the double deckers. So again, it's something that you can do if you wanted to think of. I'm just going to go a little bit further down. So you can see that next door has done a double decker as well as next door on this side. So it's something you could do. Lots of people knock out of the window on the landing and come out to make their third bedroom. So you've got a storage shed at the back with a decking area which is actually, again, in good condition. Sometimes I think my job will be death by decking. <laughs> there are amount of houses I've gone to and slipped and nearly died. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at the views of the mountain. Absolutely fabulous. So yeah, I really, really like this garden. I think it's a hell of a bonus to this house. And because you've got such a big garden, you wouldn't lose too much on the if you did add a double extension. Like you can see so many people have, and they've still got really good sized gardens. Right, let's go up. So back into a really sunny light hallway. Up these stairs. And this is where lots of them, like I said, they go out of this window and then they build the double decker. So this would be your landing area. There we go. textured walls these have got smooth ceilings but i don't know i'm going to touch it can i touch it can i reach it it's got to be some sort of cladding of some sort so possibly did have textured ceilings you know what it's like there was a generation that sort of covered stuff up as in they may do so they would take doors like this and they would panel over the top of them and paint them and uh, so the Sapili Sapili doors when they went out of fashion became back in fashion with panels so it's a really good idea. They, they were quite ingenious, but unfortunately, our generation are not keen. <laughs> so textured ceilings in here and textured walls. Fabulous space for your double wardrobe and another wardrobe here. So you could be double bedroom bed out. You could be double bedroom out. You could have a single lying across here. So actually plenty of space in this bedroom. Onto your main, so this is your first and biggest bedroom. Lovely. Textured walls. And then again, can you see you've got it and it's been heavily glossed, but you can see that you've got obviously the panelled ceiling. Having a little look at that. Fabulous. I love the deep window cells. So here is wardrobe space, but this is where your old turn stairs used to be. So again, do you know what? Depends what you're into. I absolutely adore period properties. So I would be builder, knock that out, expose the old staircase and have a bit more character in here. But if not, that is an absolutely awesome place for clothes. Because us girlies have a lot of them. So you can see from the carpet, it's like brand new. But you can see that obviously bed went out this way. But you could have bed coming out that way. And I actually think it would be quite nice because you could stay in, you know, stay out through the window there. But lovely, lovely big loft hatch. Another thing in old houses, sometimes they have tiny little loft house hatches. So yeah, that's it, guys. I'm so, so, so glad and so honoured to show you around this house. And if you'd like a viewing, just let me know. See you soon.